Alright guys, uh, today I'm gonna put up, uh, coyotes for you. Um, got a friend just starting trapping this year, so this kind of, for him, I guess. Um, we're not shipping up to fur harvesters this year. We're actually gonna keep some and tan them, or keep these and tan them. Obviously, they're not, uh, nice western prime goods, but, uh, we're gonna do something with them. So uh, I'll flash and put them on the, get them on the wire. I'm putting them on the wire, so stay tuned. All right, so first things first, I got the uh, ear cartilage off. He is uh, just coming out of the bath. He's washed and clean. He's combed out, there's no burrs. No mud, no blood. And I'm just gonna take the old flushing knife here. I'm gonna use my dull side on my weedy. Just go along here. This was a female we caught today so I gotta watch when I get around on the front side this is the back see real well the uh, light layer of fat that's still on there. Kind of want to smooth that off. Keep working. things like tick bites and thin spots really nothing you can do with that this old girl had a lot of ticks too I like to put them on here while they're wet and they'll kind of ring off and dry while I'm flushing. Oh. I think some guys, they just tumble theirs and don't even wash them at all, which is probably the best, I don't know. I'm no expert by no means. I don't own a tumbler. If I did, I would definitely tumble. And this southern fur needs all the help it can get. Somebody once said, can't make them any better than they already are. Which, that's the truth. you walk up to them that's as good as they're gonna get you can wash them and clean them but the fur ain't gonna get any better
do the head last. Seems like it's always the most time consuming. Tedious. I'm already working my way around to the front. Tread lightly. Take her easy. Not exactly sure what happened here. Sometimes that under, under sinew can be kind of hard, that meat, the muscle that's underneath there. Be careful around the legs and now we're, we're on the belly so we got to watch. Right 
right there. Sometimes that meat's really tough to get off there. Put the leg through there like that. You don't want to push too hard because it'll rip out. You'll rip the leg open. Probably should have cut them longer than I did anyway. I usually try to go around the elbow, but somehow I got a little short. I want to go just past the elbow on their front leg. sharp side when they do the head. If you're good with the sharp side, use it. You know, once you get familiar with your knife, you can, you know how far to go with it. I don't need to use the sharp side with it, I guess. It's coming off pretty good. use a 
sharp side right here. Just gotta be careful. Don't go past the ears pretty much. I'm trying to keep all this straight because it will cut. Weeby Elite's a really good, really good knife. Get what you pay for on flesh and knives. This one has a no chef filled or none of those big caribous, you know, the really high dollar ones. But it's really nice. I sharpen it. It does what I need it to do. I suppose if I was trying to put up 15 beavers a day, I'd have to get something better. But or I just do a few once in a while, or you know, three or four a day. It's actually not bad. This thing's pretty good. I got that gristle getter. It works good too. take care of the rest. That's gonna do it, guys. All right, stick around for my wire. I'll get him on the wire and uh, fasten him down. Hang tight. Okay, so uh, this is it on the board, or on the, on the wire. Uh, you got these, you got the feet tucked in here. Just put them on each, try to get them centered. I usually leave this middle one empty. I just go in to pull the legs together. Uh, you want it pulled all the way down. Cut the bottom lip off. If you don't do that skinning, uh, do it right now, I guess, or any time before they dry. And then these legs, I always take the old plastic hangers and cut them so they fit in there. And what they do is hold them leg holes open, let air flow in and also keeps them from touching skin to skin while they're drying right here in the armpits. And then I just hook the tail anywhere. Like I said, they're going to the tannery, so they uh, 
they're uh, you know not gonna get boarded you know they're not gonna be I'm not gonna put a lot of time on them even if I was shipping them up to fur harvesters I wouldn't what I'll do tomorrow is show you guys when I flip them uh, I'll, I'll pin the ears flat like that when I flip them, I'll lay the ears flat, pin them, and then um, basically hook them back up. Guess I could show you the finished product now, and then don't have to worry about it. I'll comb them out, and then put the. Well, these guys don't have them in there, but I'll put the uh, put them hangers back in there so the fur can the air can get in there. And that's it for coyote put up. They're not hard on wire. You know, I don't sit here and try to button them up, square them up. You know, I'd rather tumble them like the guys do, but I don't have that. So I'll wait and let, if it was a normal year, I'd let fur harvesters do that. And they charge me for it anyway, so. All right, that's gonna conclude the old coyote demo, <laughs> the fur put up, so. Thanks for watching. Uh, I just want to say real quick, hit that like and subscribe button. And then do a leg drop on that notification bell. That way you guys know whenever we post anything. But if you like what you're watching, if you don't, I guess, roll on. But uh, we'll holler at you later on.